Our challenge is for our wages. They want to get a big corporation, suit our management, all this money. But we suffer. We're the ones that have the challenge to pay our bills every month. We're just simply here to, to you know, lend a voice to the issue. But the bottom line is that those people in office are in office because we hired them. We placed them in office. So we have a responsibility now to ensure that people understand that they are under attack. And then when you go to the ballot box, remember those people who put all these crazy things into um, bills and into law. And vote the bottom line. It's just that simple. Start talking. Start talking to anybody next to you. Now, of course, if I've got plenty of money, thanks to Citizens United, Phyllis can talk all day. Keep talking, honey, talk. Now, let's imagine that Phyllis is telling you how do we end corporate rule? How do we build community power in a way that we can have meaningful change that everyone needs? But of course, can y'all hear Phyllis? Because I got more money. I got more speech. That's what Citizens United says. And Move to Amend says, oh, no. We have to build enough power so that we can demand what everyone deserves. Human rights, workers' rights, environmental justice, economic justice. We can do this by working together. So the Republicans say everyone is getting a tax break with this plan. What is your concern, though? OK, you, you make it a tax break, but on the opposite end of that, you're paying more money. And so there's always a little loophole to stick us. It's exactly what's happening once again. And if the Republicans are really serious about changing things here in North Carolina, then there will be some kind of job growth plan, some kind of job growth you know, um, plan, but there isn't. I'm talking about quality of life jobs. This will affect poor workers. <laughs> and what about the those who are unemployed? What's happening with the people of America? In particular here in North Carolina. And I am just absolutely stunned that more people aren't outraged.